As a boy, Davis Finney watched a race that became the beginning of a dream. Sometimes it seems incredibly tough. Only with a team, you don't even think about quitting. Here are some familiar pictures. Davis Finney, arms thrust skyward in victory. When I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's, I had had a relatively flourishing TV career <laughs> following up on the heels of a good pro bike racing career. I was really starting to notice a decline in my physical capacity and my mental acuity uh, for, for my job. And then, of course, with Parkinson's, the most overt symptoms start coming, and I started to get this shaky hand. As I started to research into Parkinson's, and I looked at my age, and I realized that, uh, you know, there's no cure at the moment for this disease, and I'm only going to get worse, and, uh, you know, things down the line could look pretty grim for me for a guy who's who's just survived on being healthy and being physically fit and active and productive. Here's what I know about Parkinson's disease, is that you cannot afford to be passive in your approach. And that's applicable whether we're talking about dealing with your own day-to-day -day management or your interaction with your healthcare provider. Winning with Parkinson's, to me, means having more good moments throughout any single day than bad moments. Whether that's being able to get out for a bike ride, or a hike, or even just a walk, or else having a good meal, or enjoying time with your family and friends. These are all elements that if you really pay attention to them, they can magnify your sense of well-being versus minimizing it, which is what the disease will do if you focus on that. All of the little things matter, and it's okay to get scared or be frustrated with the disease, whether you have it or if you have a family member who has it. But ultimately, you know, my dad is still my dad. It's hard to think about Parkinson's as something that you're overcoming because it is, you know, the stemming of decline, but there is that day-to-day -day sense of, of overcoming this disease and, and being happy and living a fulfilling life. As a lifelong athlete, I'm used to getting over the hump of, of bad days and, and forcing myself to get out because I know it's good for me in the long run. And, and my goals are entirely different now from when I was a competitive cyclist. But that doesn't mean it's less important, it's actually more important now for me to exercise and maintain my vitality and my physical function and my, and my good attitude and my morale. It's in those days where you just don't really feel up for doing anything that you gotta remind yourself well, this is going to maybe make today better, but it'll for sure make tomorrow better. Open the dialogue and be a little more free with your conversations and, and, and keep the optimism. Because as far as I know, this is our one shot at this beautiful life. And, uh, you know, we, we all are in it together to make it uh, the best possible life. And that's the challenge, just making every day great.